I mean, you, you do need government to set the rules, and you need government that are educated, um, who read well, um, who uh, listen to the, the vast majority of the scientists, who realise that you know we do have a catastrophe on our hands, um, and who set the set set the rules. Um, if the rules are set properly, um, then you know coal companies will have to you know put their carbon back into the Earth's atmosphere. It's, it, it's something that can be done. Um, it is actually you know the the, the coal-fired producing power stations that are doing the most damage in the world. Um, uh, and even if you know there's an earthquake one day and some of that carbon is released, it'll give us time to come up with um, you know maybe ways of getting the carbon out of the Earth's atmosphere, maybe um, ways of you know coming up with clean fuels. But um, so governments need to set set the rules. Government should say to all the petrol stations, um, you know, they need to have an ethanol plant in every petrol station, um, or at least in every you know one in every three petrol stations. Um, you know, governments need to say that you know that every five years the amount of um, the use of clean fuels must go up by you know say ten percent you know and, and every you know every 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 few years so that. Uh, you know, th these things need to be mandated to force it through. Uh, Brazil, um, you know, 75% of their cars are now run on clean fuels. It can be done. It's not, you know, it's not that difficult a thing, a thing to do. Instead, instead, interestingly, America forbids the importation of sugar. Uh, there's, there's sugar awash in the world. Sugar produces um, clean fuels six times more efficiently than corn. Um, you could produce, every single car in America could be running on, on, on sugar-based ethanol um, and uh, with no, no carbon emissions going out whatsoever. The whole of Europe could be run on, you know, on sugar-based ethanol. Um, in fact, you know, most likely it'll be butanol because it's more powerful than ethanol, but that, you know, that needs to be developed. But, um, you know, so instead of being counterproductive to global warming, they need to be productive. <laughs>